Michael Gatewood and I'm working in InDesign and a few things that I'd like to do simply get over here into InDesign and set up a new file so when we go in here to file let's go into new document let's take a look at a few of the options that we have first of all we have the option in CC to be able to preview changes that we make to the size of this document and if we want to change let's say orientation we see it immediately in a preview which is something we didn't have previously another thing that I'd like to do is I'd like to take a look at the fact that we might be working in inches now we can also go in here and change this to a different unit of measure if we want we can go with columns one column or set up several columns such as in a newsletter and if we do so we end up with our columns and our gutter width so if we're doing a newsletter this might be a good option for going ahead and getting started we have one page set up on this particular document and if we want to we can set up facing pages if we choose to create a document that'll be collated later another thing is margins right now we have 0.5 as far as safe area and my suggestion is to keep that setting the same and be very careful on putting content too close to the edge this is not something we would normally want to do this safe area is just that it makes it very safe for any trim that might happen or anything that it might need as far as grip goes for a printer like an inkjet printer. We have it around the top, the inside, the outside, and the bottom. Then let's get over here to bleed and just to give you a rough idea of what bleed is, bleed is going to be the area that would be trimmed off in offset printing and if we go 0.125 and hit the tab key that would be a good setting for being able to control bleed around in well around a document slug is something that we could actually set up and uh, just to let you know let's say we do it at bottom and we go uh, let's see 0.5 and leave that alone we end up with a slug at the bottom for being able to put in printer notes or something of that nature. I'm going to go in here and put in zero for slug. This is something we might do on a printing press to be able to give folks an idea of um, maybe something that might change or the kind of paper we're printing on. Once we've done this, and let's say we go to numbers of pages, if we go with two, that's not reasonable. Usually we would print front and back of a document to save print cost or paper cost. So if we go with four, that might be nice, or eight, or twelve, or sixteen. These are going to be increments that are going to be best suited, but also remember the press size. This is going to get us started on being able to create our document. If I go in and click OK, you're going to see in our page panel our opportunity for being able to go in here and work on our front cover, insides, and back cover. And this is a facing page document, four pages, eight and a half by eleven. That's just getting started, and there are other options ahead for being able to create the kind of document you're looking for. My name is Michael Gatewood. We're doing some work in InDesign. We're getting things started. Don't forget the like and don't forget to subscribe. This is setting up a document.